सो हेलो गाइज लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विद द प्लांट एवोल्यूशन सो इन द वेरी स्टार्टिंग प्लांट्स लाइक ग्रीन एलगा हैव सम कॉमन एंसेस्टर यू कैन सी हेयर हैव सम कॉमन एंसेस्टर विच गिवस राइज टू मॉसिस लिवरवर्स एंड हॉर्नवर्स विच आर नोन एज ब्राइफाइड okay and the other lineage goes to first vascular plants right now from the first vascular plants we have another common ancestor which gives rise to ferns and first seed plants so ferns are known as pteridophytes okay so these are our pteridophytes the first vascular plants gives us after evolution the pteridophytes and the seed plants now from the seed plants we have another common ancestor that gives rise to conifers and flowering plants flowering plant is none other than angiosperms and conifers are our gymnosperms okay so as we have seen that at every point we have a common ancestor you can see here and uh, if we talk about the first common ancestor the first common point there might be chances that the plants present in this common ancestor might have characteristics of all like algae bryophytes and pteridophytes like uh, it has the common characters in it of all these three right and if we talk about the second common point in which we have a vascular plants it might have the uh, the common ancestor might have the pteridophyte and gymnosperms characteristics also and it might not have because evolution cannot be a straight line it can never be a straight line right now let's talk about the terminology in plant kingdom which is very important to understand the concepts further first of all we will talk about the embryo so in any plants life cycle if there is no embryo structure present or formed in that organism it is known as non embryophytes the uh, example of these non embryophytes are only algae right that means no embryo in its life cycle so now uh, let's talk about if uh, what if embryo is present in plants life cycle it is known as embryophytes an example of these are all others left like bryophytes like gymnosperms angiosperms and pteridophytes i'm not writing the complete word here you can understand okay now if we talk about the vascular bundles so these are not present from the very starting in the plants because when plants evolve they evolve in water itself so there is no need of vascular bundles or after that the size of plant is very small hence no need of it vascular bundles again when they needed it when the plants needed the vascular bundles they developed it so until the atracheophytes that is no vascular system present in it we have no vascular bundle in plants after atracheophytes the plants turned uh, become tracheophytes in which vascular bundles are present so what are the examples of atracheophytes the examples are so these are the two examples and if we talk about the tracheophytes the examples are pteridophytes now another terms come is our seed formation right so plants which do not carry seeds are known as aspermatophytes the examples of this uh, aspermatophytes are algae bryophytes and pteridophytes these are the examples of aspermatophytes which do not have Uh, seeds which do not form seeds right now come to the spermatophytes these are which form which carry seeds in it and are known as spermatophytes the examples of these are gymnosperms right so uh, now we learn the concept of spermatophytes and aspermatophytes let's move to the flower 
flower or we can also write it here as sex organ of the plant right so plants having hidden sex organ are known as cryptogams and plants having showy sex organs are known as phanerogams so what are the examples of cryptogams the examples are algae bryophytes and pteridophytes that means all these have hidden sex organ and what are the examples of phanerogams so these are our gymnosperms and angiosperms right so they uh, have the showy uh, sex organ the gymnosperms and the angiosperms right so this is it for uh, this lecture i hope you understand it well in the next video we will cover the alternation of generation right and that is a very important topic so thank you for watching this video